Hey, what's up everybody? It's William Worth, and uh, today's video is on upgrading Chester. He comes in three forms, orange, white, and black. You start off with the orange, and you can place stuff in him, but I'll show you how to upgrade him in the video. Hopefully you like it, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So right now, we're upgrading white Chester, and it's not that hard. You just need nine blue gems. You can't do it with any other gem. So if you try it with red, it won't work. If you try it with purple, it won't work. And basically, what white Chester can do, he can uh, keep food inside him, last longer so they won't spoil. And uh, this is what happens when you do everything correctly. Yeah, freaking. Oh, that was scary. It scared me when I first did it, man. I was, man, I shit my pants. But yeah, I mean, it's really useful if you like carrying Chester around. So, uh, this is a little side note. You cannot upgrade him again once you've already upgraded him. So if, say, he's white Chester and you try putting Nightmare Fuel on him on a full moon, you can't. You just can't upgrade him. And, uh, hey, look, you can see right now, I try a bunch of things. You just can't upgrade him. So, uh, you have to kill him to upgrade him if you want to change his upgrade, like more slots or... Uh, food, food spoilage, you know, it's whatever. And, uh, yeah. So next is Black Chester, which you need nine Nightmare Field to do. You need to put one in each slot, and what it does is it gives Chester an extra slot to hold things, which is useful if you're, it, like, there's three uses for Chester, you know. You can have them as, uh, to cool food, have them go out with you, or you can just have them as a normal basic chest. It's whatever you want him to be. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to upgrade Chester. Not many people know about this. You know, this is just kind of, you know, what to do. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy the video. Subscribe if you want. Like if you want. Dislike if you really want to. I, it's not appreciated or needed, but <laughs> you can do so. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Me and Chester sure did. Piece of shit. Quick, quick, quick story, though. Uh, do not have them around near a deer clops because uh, one time I was trying to fight the deer clops I had Chester with me he kept getting in the way so I'd accidentally strike him and get hit by deer clops so that's just a note but my the way I use Chester is I keep him at base as like a decoration and I put I put stuff in him that I'm going to use later such as jelly beans as I'm making in the background <laughs> but uh you can uh you can take him out foraging too like in the beginning if you find him you can go around, pick berry bushes, and put them inside Chester, and he'll be nice and cool. Like, they won't spoil. Or if you want to go kill Buffalo. Anything you fight, just make sure it doesn't aggro onto him. Unless you want that. Like, you can use him as, like, a little meat shield. But that, that's whatever you want. He's your Chester. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.